All right, so for this project, um, be a something a little bit different, uh, but we have this uh, crib that all of our kids have used, and now they are uh, much too big for it. And so we turned it into a bench and had it outside for a while, and it was just getting kind of destroyed out there. So we wanted to do something else that we could keep part of it, um, but we didn't need to keep on carrying around this giant uh, crib or bench or whatever it turned into, and it was kind of getting destroyed. So um, came up with this idea to make a picture frame that held all four of the pictures, um, kind of like it did when they were little babies. So, um, so what we're going to do is take all their pictures, and I'm going to take the frame from the old pictures of the glass and stuff, and I'm going to make a little slot for it in the old crib, and then I'm going to just use the existing pieces of the crib and to make a casing for all of the pictures, um, and then we'll make it so we can hang it up, um, and we'll go from there. So first thing I'm going to do is clean it up and sand everything down, strip everything down to the wood, and then um, and then we'll start uh, cutting and staining and putting it back together and all that. So first thing first, get it everything cleaned up and sanded down. So now I think I got all the pieces that I want um, in order to make. I'm not going to sand everything down, so I'm going to cut it all, um, cut it all out to what I think it's going to be, and then I'll go ahead and sand it down. That way I don't have to sand down everything I'm not using. So that's what we'll do next. fill in all these holes with the wood filler and then we'll come back and sand it down. This one is a little rotted. So we're going to fill in, after we cleaned it all out, we're going to fill it all in. Okay. Some solid so this is the what? Wood filler? Yep. Okay, so it, it, is it like just like some stuff that you put in and it fills it up? Yeah, it's almost like a putty or a clay and when it dries it's just it uh, kind of blends in with the wood and it looks like wood. Wait, wait, wait. There's holes in that, so will it fall? Yeah, well, it'll, it'll take some time. I'm going to start putting it all together. Um, start putting the dowels in to make the top portion up here. And then I'll just move on down until we've made it everything, uh, or made it all. Um, when I get to the picture portions, I'm going to have to route out a spot for the 
uh, for the glass to go. Um, that's really the only other big thing um, until I get to what I'm going to do with the springs. Um, so I haven't quite figured that out yet, but we will when we get there. So we have the basic layout. Uh, this is pretty much what it's going to look like, minus the uh, spring which I'll be putting in here. Uh, but for the most part, this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to get everything evened out so it's nice and flush. Um, and then uh, and then I'm going to start putting it together. And after I get it put together, I'll route the backs um, for the slots for the glass and the pictures to go in. Um, and after I do that, then we'll go ahead and stain it and finish it. Uh, these are the old bolts from it, so I think what we're going to do instead is go ahead and drill holes through on each side, and basically each bar is going to have its own bolt that uh, were with the original one, and we'll just do it that way. Okay, so I finished test fitting everything, um, drilled all the uh, pilot holes for all the bolts. Um, now I'm going to oversize the outside bolt holes um, and recess them a little bit so they sink in and they're not sticking out on the edges. Um, after that I'm going to put it all together, uh, or actually I'll, I'll sand it first down to a fine uh, with fine grit and then I'll put it all together and then we'll move on to, uh, to staining it and yeah, it's coming together. So now I'm going to cut out the spring part. Uh, I'm going to make it so it's just the right length to put between here um, so that you can see the springs and some of the bed frame. Uh, I'll like, cut out a groove or something to put it in, but I'm going to cut it out um, and then uh, clean it up and probably paint it just to, no, uh, maybe not. We'll see. And we'll see when I get it. It might look kind of cool how it is. Um, yeah, so we'll get moving.
right, so we're all done with it. I think it turned out pretty good. It's kind of cool to take the crib they all slept in uh, to make a, a picture frame, hold all of their, uh, all their baby pictures. Um, that way we could keep some of the crib um, and not have to lug around the entire crib forever. You like it? Yeah. But how are we going to take the pictures off if it's on the wall? We don't have, well, you can take it off the wall. Do you like it? Yeah, Thanks for helping. Beautiful.